And my name is Minivans94, and I would like to welcome you to a Call of Duty Black Ops 3 Zombies video. This isn't the current game. What am I doing back on Black Ops 3? Well, what I will tell you is that we are live. I think I mentioned that. I actually probably didn't, but, uh, maybe I don't remember, but, <laughs> but, uh, so, I'm on Black Ops 3, not with an actual, hey, this is zombies, high round attempt on revelations or shadows or anything like that, no. So, I don't remember, or, uh, well, before I get into it too far is, just want to mention, this is the first time I have been on Black Ops 3 since the release of Infinite Warfare. So, about three months since that release was so yeah this is the first time that I guess that doesn't matter but so I don't remember when it was they released it but Treyarch released Newton's cookbook for Black Ops 3 and for whatever reason, I think I was just in one of the one of my funks where I'm like, I'm not messing with videos, I'm not recording, I'm not editing, I'm not uploading, I'm not doing anything, I'm not watching YouTube videos on my own time. I'm doing nothing. So when Newton's cookbook came out, I heard about it. I actually never watched anything on it. I just saw some screenshots on Twitter and whatnot about it, but really, that's about it. So, well, um, so I know nothing about this, what this cookbook does. Again, I've seen no videos. I haven't, this is the first time I've been on Black Ops 3 since Infinite Warfare came out, and, uh, the cookbook came out after Infinite Warfare came out, so... I know nothing. So I wanted to make this video just to uh, experience it for the first time with everybody. So let's do that. Okay. Okay, interesting. So, so I'll leave this here on the screen. So if you have, if you're still reading it, go for it. So basically, you can come back every day. I think put three gobble gums together together and make a new one. And then every day they're gonna change. I think something. I don't know. All right, let's actually look. Okay. Distills. Distills are used to activate alchemical recipes. Oh, great. So, I can get 30 for free. I think probably just for, uh... Um... For first time using. And then, of course, you get 30 with... Um... Liquid Divinium, I had to think of what they were called, <laughs> or Cod Points, of course, so we'll use the free ones here. Awesome, so I got 30 distills, okay. You must activate three more recipes, okay. So you can always get some free ones, that's cool, okay. Okay, so I don't have enough to distill. And this is ready. Um. Okay, so I got, so it'd be one, but why is there, th why, why can I distill that? But not that, and I can distill that. Oh, wait, no, wait. Are these, are the numbers my gobble gums that I got? Uh, 
I, uh, I'll use temporal, temporal gift if I'm losing my gum. Because I don't know. Okay. I'll select it. Um. Uh. I don't, I don't get it. Okay, so I lose ten of those. One, one, six. But I don't want temporal gift. I want... I would rather have aftertaste. So are are the ones on the left mine to get five of those? Or four? I think the five is the ones I own, and then it would give me four. But now on the left, you see, um... I forgot what that gum is called. I think it was to give you points or something. I don't remember. But if so, that means I'm. Am I losing that in order to get that? And then if we go back. So I needed. Okay, so I think I needed eight. Eight afterburns. I've got six in order to get that one. And I don't have any. And then I have three, as it shows. Um, I would get one temporal gift. And I've got six of the bear and six undead man walking, I think that was. Or fear and headlights. I don't remember what they're called. So I would use one and it would do that, I think. Well, give me aftertaste, man. I would rather lose my points one. Okay. Okay, that that's pretty cool. Okay, so I don't have enough, don't have enough, but I can still get some more temporal gifts by losing. Okay, that's kind of cool. So you get to choose out of the three that you want to possibly use, but you gotta have some gum in order to use it. Okay, that's cool. And that's yeah. Let's go check it out. Uh, what did I get? Yeah. So see, I had three, so it was showing what I had. Okay. Yep. So now I got nine. That's cool. Okay. So it's basically if let's say you've got, I guess like um. Oh, what's one that no one likes? Um, head drama. At least I don't like it. But let's say you have like twelve of those. Actually, let's go to a different one. That's that. That's actually semi-useful if you know how to use it. Here we go. Licensed contractor. So I've got three, but there are times where people will have like thirty of them just because they keep getting them from the. Dr. Monty's factory, and they're like, well, these are pointless other than 200 points. Just, what's, what, well, 600 points if you activate them all three at the same time, so, hey, free points. But, uh, otherwise, they're not anything like respin cycle or, or unquenchable. It, it's probably pretty useless, so... You just stockpile those up, and then it's like, if that one comes up where you can get rid of them for, let's say, you use 20 of them and you get a... on the house. Uh, and you get four of them. I'd easily trade in 20 carpenters for four on the houses. So, that's kind of cool. So it's kind of, you get to get rid of gobble gum that you don't want to a point, depending on uh, what's available for the day and you got uh, 24 hours to do it, so. Yeah. No, I don't, don't really want that. I'm good. Okay. But yeah, that's, that's pretty cool. Okay. But then, like this one, you need eight burned out. I've only got six. I would trade eight burned out for one of those profit sharing, I think they call them. Uh, but plus, you gotta have 20, or the amount of distill to 
make them. So that's cool. So I think that is a very good thing within the game. Except now actually kind of figure out, figuring out what it does and whatnot, I do have one, one small complaint. I understand this is... They put it in after Infinite Warfare was out, and I think they did it just to keep the game a little bit relevant, um, but really, this should have been out, not like day one, no. It was good that they brought it in later, but I think this should have been out with DLC 4. And here's why. Well, I mean, to a point... I would have said the halfway mark, so DLC 3 it should have been out. But then again, you're, it, there's still a lot of the... There's still a decent life cycle for Black Ops 3 if you go at the midway point like that of being having it out at DLC 3. So it's like, you know what? Let's, I, so I just kind of thought about it. Maybe DLC 4 should have been uh, where this should have been in because... Everyone's kind of built up their gobble gums, and how Revelations played out for many people of actually being kind of disappointing. Maybe this Newton's Cookbook would have been something that they could have been like, okay, well I can at least get rid of gobble gums that could maybe help me a little bit better in uh, Revelations or whatever. So I don't know. I think. Newton's cookbook should have not been out on day one so people could build up gobble gums and kind of use them and of course for out, throughout the first three DLCs is use those new gobble gums but it should have been out when Black Ops 3 was still relevant I mean I think Newton's cookbook came out like two weeks <laughs> or something after Infinite Warfare so it was still probably very relevant, and even when I'm recording this, it's, I think, the three-month mark after Infinite Warfare was released. It's still probably very relevant because um, it's Infinite Warfare is not doing very well, I guess, with people. I mean, I enjoy it. Not, I'm not going to lie. I enjoy Infinite Warfare. Um... And Modern Warfare Remastered is where most people are at, so... Or Black Ops 3. Probably. So... But, you know, I think Newton's Cookbook should have been out with DLC 4. Yes, there would have been new gobble gums to experiment with, but hey, you got three choices there to be like, hey, I want to get this gum, but if you realize, hey, that's a new gobble gum, you might be like, ah, I can wait. I want to experience the new gobble gum or something. So it was still a chance. It wasn't like, okay, you got one gobble gum to get for this day. And uh, if you want it, go for it. If you don't, uh, well, wait till tomorrow. Well, I mean, that is to a point the same. But I mean, you got options. So you can just use different ones. So, well, that's kind of cool. Um... Hopefully you guys did enjoy and did enjoy the video. I know this this video should have been out a long time ago, but uh, hey, I'm lazy. I was I was just like, nah, I'm not recording videos, editing, doing any of that. I don't know what I was doing at that time. I don't know. Doesn't matter. No, but uh, hopefully again, you guys enjoyed the video. If you left a like, I would appreciate it. And if you do leave a like, please let me know in the comments. I will 90% reply to you saying thank you. Um, you got a 90% chance that I will reply to you. It's probably a little bit higher than that. Probably like 97% chance that I will reply to you. Saying thank you for leaving a leaving a like or a, and the comments in general, um, and if you subscribe, I will 
easily. Thank you. But, uh, yeah. If you enjoyed the video, leave a like. Subscribe for more Call of Duty videos. And also, some GTA. I do GTA once a week. Unless if a new uh, DLC came out for that, then there's multiple, multiple videos on that. But uh, until my next video, I'll catch you guys next time.